step back and watch the step cook. You want 17 birds? Big ring, I play for the 17 birds. In my line, if you want 17 birds, big ring, I play for the 17 birds. I know a guy if you want 17 birds, big ring, I play for the 17 birds. I know a guy if you want 17 birds, big ring, I play for the 17 birds. Yeah, I'm from the 17. Um, well, being consistent, being more consistent. Um, and I'm gonna be honest. Opportunities. I'm just say simple like that. I need to be more consistent, but I need opportunities. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Listen, before we get into the meat and potatoes, I got to let you know, I'm going to let you know that this video was brought to you by Manscaped. Big Manscaped in the building, man, providing you nothing but the greatest and the latest and modern edge, cutting edge technology, man, to keep today's man groomed. Use code Brunson, save 20% off, get the free shipping and the free shipping not fall for that for y'all. So listen, um, training kept me to hurry up and start. Before before I get into what I really, really, really want to talk about, you know what I mean, um, which is Miles Sanders. Um, let's talk about the Philadelphia Eagles finally signing Cam Jurgens, and all the rookie class is signed. The 2022 rookie class is finally signed, sealed, and delivered, ready to get on the field and ready to contribute. I don't know why some of these things take so long. You know what I mean? It doesn't make sense to me. But, you know... What's more important is, is hopefully he was still able to get some work in during a rookie camp. You know what I mean? Hopefully he was still able to, you know, I, I don't know. I, I just don't know how that works. You know what I mean? Listen, man, second round pick, you know you need him. Hurry up and get it done. We made a slew of moves before signing Cam Jurgens. I don't know if it was a physical thing or what. Like, we brought in Bradbury. We, we, we brought in A.J. Brown. We did a lot of things. Well, A.J. Brown was first, but you know what I mean? We did a lot of things before signing him, so... Hopefully, you know, this, this eases his mind that he can get out there and compete and do what he got to do. Um, Nick Sirianni, man. They've been saying Nick Sirianni got into a scuffle the last uh, the last couple days. You know what I mean? But, uh, you know, reports are coming out that that has been widely and wildly exaggerated. Of course, you know what I mean? Nick Sirianni don't even seem like that type of guy. Basically, what really happened with Nick Sirianni and that Giants fan is is this what i do i see a guy with a cowboys hat on and i'd be like how good y'all think y'all gonna be this year or i'd be like you got on the wrong hat you know just like friendly competition between men but when it comes from a philadelphia eagles head coach you know what i mean you're just a fan of the giants man i had to be dope for that giants fan for real for real but you know nick sirianni is a competitor man we all know this when guys come to the team new guys new, new rookies you know guys playing ping pong guys having catching competitions that's the aura that nick sirianni brings to this thing so you know Pump your brakes. It wasn't a fight. It was just a little, little, little friendly back and forth, man, between sports guys. Kind of like what me and Law Nation will do, something like that. Um, but, yeah, man, training can't be the start. And training can't be the start in a hurry. You know, we can't even, we, we can't afford to wait another day because Miles Sanders is on a rampage. He's actually talking a little too much for my taste right now, but he's getting interviewed and that's what's supposed to happen. But not, not talking too much. I don't want to say it like that, but, you know, Miles Sanders is visibly agitated. Miles Sanders is visibly agitated agitated you know what i mean and that's never good when you're taking interviews and you're visibly agitated with the role that you have with the team so this first comes out miles sanders you know he speaks about um you know the philadelphia eagles being the all-star team so that was the first thing you know what i mean and you know people took offense to that actually i had nothing wrong or nothing bad to say about that so then you know miles sanders has another interview with john clark where miles sanders speaks about you know what he needs to do to improve. And some of the things he said was he needs to be more consistent and he needs opportunities. Now, listen, this is the thing with me. I've played organized sports. I've been a part of teams, military. We all know my story for some of my guys, you know, who've been here for a long time. You, you don't get opportunities without proving to be consistent. Miles Sanders has to understand that. Like, you have to prove to be prove to be consistent before you can get the opportunities. You know who I screamed to the heavens who deserved more opportunities out of that running back room? Jordan Howard. Because Jordan Howard was showing a certain level of consistency. And I couldn't understand why a guy that consistent wouldn't get the ball as much or more than Miles Sanders. You know what I mean? Jordan Howard ain't that much older than Miles Sanders. So, so Miles Sanders got this thing all backwards, in my opinion. You don't get rewarded until you prove that you can be consistent. 
Now, Miles Sanders should have been utilized more early in the season. I understand his frustration there, but, you know, come on, come on. Then another thing he said in, in, the, in the interview was, you know, he frustrated about a fantasy football question. I guess he told people not to, don't pick me up on fantasy football. Something along those lines, you know what I mean? And, and I mean, come on. Why? 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 You don't want you, you you don't want to damage you don't want to damage you know how people view you. You know what I mean? We we love you in Philadelphia. We absolutely love Miles Sanders in Philadelphia, and you know, and consistency for me is not really a big thing for Miles. I think Miles Sanders has to just get more touches. I don't think the consistency is an issue. I think the more you get, the more touches he gets the more chances you have for those big-time plays that we know Miles Sanders can make. But don't tell the fans not to pick you up in fantasy. You know what I mean? Don't do that. You know what I mean? Just just remain level-headed. We don't have time. Listen, we don't have time for disgruntled employees with this roster. We do not have time for it, man. A Super Bowl window has been opened, and that's all we got time for. We only got time to do and look at the things that's right in front of our faces right now, and that is competing for championships. You know what I mean? Worrying about disgruntled employees and and, 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 and and worried about who's getting more touches and who not. We don't care about that. I don't give a damn if, if you get a third, Gainwell get a third, and Boston Scott get a third. As long as we're running the ball at an optimum level. People know what you can be. This is the new NFL. You know what I mean? Ezekiel Elliott is probably one of the only running backs who gets the utilization of, of an old school running back. You know what I mean? 300 carries. Stuff. Zeke is probably one of the only guys. And to be able to do that, you have to prove to be durable. So I think Miles Sanders got the word wrong. It's not you don't have to be consistent, Miles. You have to be more durable. Durable. You know what I'm saying? You had a couple of those little nagging injuries. You know what I mean? Um, that, that that probably made the front office believe that, you know, it's not best suited to use you in certain situations. I disagree. You know what I mean? A lot of people for a while thought Miles Sanders was too small, but Miles Sanders is bigger than McCaffrey, bigger than or the same size as Alvin Kamara. You know, Aaron Jones, all of those guys are the same size as Miles Sanders. These freakishly big running backs, it's not that many of them in the National Football League. You either can do it or you can't do it. And I think we haven't given Miles Sanders the opportunity to show that he can do it. So, you know, um, as far as Miles Sanders goes and as far as Miles Sanders is concerned, I think this is going to be a big year for Miles Sanders. I actually think that Miles Sanders will crack a thousand yards and I think Miles Sanders will go on to get a big contract. Do I think it'll be with the Philadelphia Eagles? That's another conversation we got to have after this year i'm focused on miles sanders this year getting a thousand yards and scoring touchdowns in the running game for the philadelphia eagles that's all we can hope for at this point you know what i mean i know i get on them a lot about not having a rushing touchdown last year but that's just the facts that's just the facts and i can't use utilization as an excuse for miles sanders not having a rushing touchdown last year because we're not worried about that when it comes to miles sanders because miles sanders is our big run threat miles sanders is the one with the burst miles sanders is the one that 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 can take a run 60 yards to the house you know what i mean miles sanders is the one that once he's in front of you you ain't catching him from behind so I expect Miles Sanders to pop off big runs. I'm not saying Miles Sanders is the one that should be punching in at the goal line. Do I think he can do it? Absolutely. But we need Miles Sanders to put the fear in the defense by saying, listen, you got to bring guys down in the box to get me on the ground as soon as possible, or I'm going to take something to the crib 50 yards or longer, man. Let me know what you think in the comments about Miles Sanders. Um... Let me know what you think in the comment section about Miles Sanders' comments during this interview. And, you know, the rookie class being drafted and all of that stuff, man, it is what it is.